Okay, once again, I say a pleasant good afternoon. It's now um, 24 minutes past the hour of 12 noon here. Today, the 10th day in the month of January. Hey, Jan. Like a very boy, like a tad. But January? Where are you going? Well, I'm uh, going down to see if I meet February. Because like here we are too. And both of us could march together. Okay. Kalitsunian disciple. Part four. And part four has to deal with we, we, we going we're going out from the home now. We're going we cannot remain home all the time. Because we have to eat, we have to sleep, we have to pay bills, we have to go to work. So we're going out of the home. The couple is now going out of the home. So, cookie -oko! But if I was a cook, they would have run me. Because they would have said that cookie -oko is something good. That, that might sound a little bit, eh? All right. So the morning is here. The sun is rising. Mother and father and public children have to get ready to face the day, school, work, what have you. Some of us um, have domesticated employment, like a seamstress, a tailor. Sometimes we open a little garage home and things. So it all depends. But we have to prepare for the day because we need money. Right? Woman, man, when you go out into the world of employment, maintain that culture and that decency about yourself. Remember, in the workplace, there are temptations. People have to meet and socialize with other people, talk and laugh. Be careful what you say, how you talk, and always maintain a respect for your mate, your husband or your wife, behind their backs. Not because your husband is working in the same place with you or you working in the same place with your husband, you're going to take a chance and try something. No. Be honest when they are not around. And be more honest when they are around. Right? So the boss man is involved too because you know it has some bosses, they're very promiscuous. They see a new, as they say, new chick on the block come to work. So, and it, it's something that I know happens in work. A new woman go, goes on a work. Nobody's telling she married or not a student to respect her. Yes, yeah, there are people who do that, but commonly speaking, they didn't see that thing coming, boy. And they say that thing, eh? they don't say that nice woman. You see that? You see that thing coming there, boy? She looking good, boy. And now. Everybody, all the men trying to sharpen up on themselves to impress. Who is the machine operator? Who wants the thing that he produces? Sometimes it's entering confusion in the work. Sometimes the women have to put them in their place. Right? Sometimes it's the boss man. Right? And as I've said before, a boss man could be very strategical. He could see a woman come to work and he like her and eventually give her promotion or he put her in a, in a good position to work. And then one day he may ask her, um, I'm going to lunch. When am I going to lunch with you? Because what he did, he gave up promotion. He put her in a good position. And therefore, she now, knowing that she is promoted or she was promoted, well, you know, she has some commitment, financial commitments. She, she got something at court. Maybe she has a car husband, you know, financial agreement and thing then. So, she has to be dedicated to her work, right? She has to be so much in her work that it becomes a dominant part of her life. So she has to be on work every day. Sometimes she works over time. The boss man put me up, he gives me promotion, but the boss man's idea about that was to let her fly high and then he'll try to clip her wings. So she will fall right into his lap. And he will lead her into the green pastures. 
You know what I mean? Come go to lunch. You go to lunch one day, nothing happened. He called you again. But this time he is not going where you went the first time. He is going in some place where when he finishes, he can say, come, where are you going to cool it now? Can you in some room and you know, have sex with you? And sometimes when you do catch yourself, what really happened? The same thing there has been me. Why? Because it is through your boss man that you give yourself the commitment of owing courts, of owing the bank, of fixing the house, of sending a train to school. Right? And if it is that you say, no, I, I, I went in the first time, no, I'm not going there again because you know I'm not. Or you, you remind him I'm a married woman and I shouldn't be straying too much with you. <laughs> Boy, eventually you'll try to find fault with you. And it comes like a, a game of snakes and ladder. Up the ladder, down the snake. Right? Because the snake dealing with you, you know. The snake give you the impression that you love you, but then when they go even on you, because they try to get away. That's it. So, when you go out, be very careful. When you go out with your wife, be very careful of where you go to dine, how you walk the road. Always look out for danger. You're going in some place to get a meal, be very careful. Look into the place first when you're going, or if you're inside of the place, keep your eyes open. If you see people walking and you're suspicious about them, say, look, let them move one time. Eh? I see something happening here and I don't want to be caught up in it. Outside, probably you hear the next day that the place was was robbed or something like that. Put people to lie down the ground and they hold them up and they take all the tools and what have you. But it's a good thing I move on time. I tell you that, that you suspect something. You see, that, that's what is happening. So keep your eyes open. When you're crossing the road, when you're going to the taxi, be careful of the taxi you take. Watching the taxi. Sometimes women are being shut up. You see a car and you see well, it's two women in it, a woman driving. Then you go and go and the woman is shut up for the bandits. It's a whole set of things. So when you're out in this place, be very careful. Whenever you meet friends, make sure that your wife is part of the talk when you meet your friends. Don't try to be personal in the world. Or your husband is part of the talk. You know? And try to make everything in a way so that you will know that whenever you're outside, when you're going back inside, you're going back inside as a happy person, a peace person. You know, couples that have gone out outside, and when they reach back inside, there's a covering. Imagine why I do that. Why tell you this? Look, eh? you see the woman, right? And the husband will say, but, but, but you see me talking to the woman, and you walk off and you go, and you go on. You didn't give me a chance to introduce it to that woman and who that woman was. Who she was? Not my cousin. Look, she number here. I can call she on the front of the show. You see, all these things happen. All these things happen. Right? It's how some people with some weird mind. They go not to the husband or they go not to the wife. And it's just she should talk to somebody. Even though she may not want to talk to them or you may not want to talk to them, you stand aside and she's talking. Right? And you want to know if that is she man, how long she know him, right? Yes, questions could be asked, depend on the person's approach and what they talk about or how they deal. Because if you are putting my wife, because you know her a long time, I'm talking, she has to hold she hand and feel up she have a little talk. She, ah. Likewise, if the woman wants to do the same thing too, as I said before, everything must have a disciplined way. Because if it hasn't a disciplined way, don't reach. Wait until when it's too late to say, you know how they suspect something, you know how they had a mind. Mm -mm. Right? So when you go out, out there into the public, let people be proud of you, let people see that you're a, a, a good couple. Don't let people say, she, she, I hear she cussing she has one the other day. Right? Or I hear you cussing she or two of them on the side, two of them, they paint love a boy or two and love, love, love a girl or two and thing. Don't mind them. Yeah, all these things just happen. Right? Be careful about your character. If you have a public character about yourself, be very careful. For example, me, I'm a Calypsonian. I'm known on TV and all over the place, right? So if I go out out there, right, and let's just suppose I have a calling with me and my wife in the road and wait, 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 this is wrong. I'm just supposing so. Or I'm doing something out of the way. If it's reached the public, yes, it's the first thing they will put into consideration. Disciple, right? Or if he belongs to some religion, is a Muslim, and they 
the, the, the what they call the label all Muslim the same way. They stereotype everybody, right? It's a Jehovah Witness. Yes, I know. Let me just call it Jehovah Witness. But look, and you know, Trinidadians ain't like nothing better than that. They will see you doing good things and they will pass through. But from the time you do a bad thing, you see, I tell you, I know that. Yeah, boy, and they go on all over this. Are you aware this? No, yes, are you aware this? Is a Muslim? Well, they only want to know that they can and they do, and they want to blemish or stain that label. So be very careful. Right? So when you go out, you, you live in peace and you return in peace. You don't return to regret that you're going out or some incident happened which that you wasn't in agreement with, or you don't like how your wife move, or your husband move, or your children move. Right? Be very careful when you bring male friends home. Be very careful how your daughter deal with them. Don't let your daughter come amongst you all when all they're talking, sitting down in a lap. And it's a whole set of thing with it. But I am saying in general, be very careful. Open your eyes and ears. Because once you want to build a solid foundation, you have to understand what is culture. Discipline, tolerance, production, patience, and everything. Right? So let me see what time it is now. Uh... What time I started, boy? I see it after 11 minutes. Okay. We ain't using 15 minutes yet. Be very careful. You have to go out. You have to eat. You have to drink. And you have to go look for the money. Right? This is what you have to do. Go and look for the money. Not because you have a taxi driver. That will be friendly. The one woman, two woman, three man. Women are a policeman. You will be friendly. You know? Not because of that. Not because of that. Right? You, you, you give your respects to your profession and do not use your profession as a bridge to get into wrongdoings. Do not use your profession as a bridge to get into wrongdoings. You're a policeman, you make a raid on a house because somebody sent out some, I see, what, what, you see something, say something, you make the raid on, on the house, you realize, hey boy, yeah, yeah, you know women already. Policeman making a raid, woman come out looking sexy and all kind of thing, right? And then I might go aside and um, what's it give me a number now? Well I'd glad we ain't find only with anything, you know. And you know so you know, give me a number now, I will tell you who it is, me say something. And you might not really want to do so, but just watch the man you call. Sure we do. You know it's everything, but you know. And you must always in case anything always check me, my not a police I go with not to do thing. And it has some women yes will fall for them kind of thing. Police soldier, coast guard. Doctor, whatever is your profession, some people use their profession, as I've said before, as a bridge to get into wrongdoings. And they become, therefore, it becomes a bridge over troubled water in the end. Like a bridge over troubled water, I will lay me down. Well, you hear that? I say something good. Just now, in a, in a short while from now, I'll be 73, you know, so I say something good. And me no bridge over trouble water. I trying to, to cross a bridge over calm water, nice water, so I could look, look down and admire the water and get a, 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 a clear, nice reflection of myself in the water. And so we all should use the bridge, not over trouble water, but a bridge over calm water. Right? So, Everybody, be at peace. And that's it for today. I have two more. I have to deal with finance, religion, and sex. So three more lectures to go with. Finance, religion, sex. I think sex is the last one. Right? So, Umar Muhammad, Kalisunan disciple, have a good day.